Hey guys, my name is Shauna and I'm the editor at Blog Eds. Today we'll be going over how to plan a blog post. So I know it sounds kind of silly just because it sounds so self-explanatory, but there are a lot of tips and tricks you can do to make sure your blog post is perfectly seamless. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is pick your topic. Decide if you wanna do a how-to, like something educational, if you wanna interview someone, or if you wanna reflect on something personal in your life. And if you need any ideas, hit this box right above my head and look for this video on how to come up with new blog post ideas. So the second thing you need to do is research. So if you're doing a how-to article, make sure you skim through a bunch of different articles just so you know everything there is to know. If you're doing an interview, something to keep in mind is that you never know someone's response time. So you might reach out to someone and they're going to Tokyo for a week. So you just wanna make sure you and the person you're interviewing has ample time to respond back to each other. The third thing you need to do is write. So it sounds really simple, but it can take a long time. So make sure you go somewhere where you can concentrate and kind of block out any distractions that may come your way. Next, you wanna upload your article to your system. So whatever kind of hosting system you're using, we use WordPress. Just make sure you put it all in there and everything is good to go. And in addition to that, make sure you do SEO. The next thing you need to do is add pictures. So make sure your images are scaled down to a right size so that the website will upload your images faster. Okay, so make sure you add your links. So you can link out to other blog posts on the internet just so you can hopefully gain more traffic from other places or you can just interlink within your own blog post. And a huge tip is using Google Keyword Planner. So you can look up different keywords that people are looking for and see their search rankings just so you can make sure you create a title that is SEO appropriate and will get you more traffic. So the last thing you do after you've written your blog post is promote it. So make sure you use Bitly links so that it shortens it and you can track your analytics. And then another thing to do is optimize your posting time. So maybe posting at 1 p.m. will get you a lot better response than posting at 7 a.m. Just make sure to do your research so you know which social media channels your blog post will do better on. I know that was super quick, but hopefully you guys learned a few tricks or two. Um, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.